probably one of the weirder things to come out of the recent NVIDIA presentation, uh, maybe apart from that whole Fortnite with RTX business, is Omniverse Machinima. What they promise to be an ultimate tool for creating your own machinima and other scenes based inside your favourite games. And that already made me confused because hasn't the concept of machinima videos been kind of dead on the internet for a while now? I thought it was kind of just done to the ground a few years ago and I can't even remember the last time I've heard the word be muttered. Unless we're talking about the downfall of the network of the same name that is. So why are they even making it and is it actually that good? But the thing is that even if you aren't someone who's super interested in making your own machinima, it's going to offer quite a few cool tools for you to play around with and hey as long as it's not Ampere exclusive which you don't know yet I'll maybe give it a go myself but basically here's what's included but basically the way Omniverse Machinima works is that you're able to import and convert assets and textures from your favorite game and the included libraries and from there you'll be able to create your own scenes in this custom 3D environment maker similar I guess to something like Blender so you'll be working in a 3D environment kind of like that but you know you'll be but you have all these but you have tons of nice pre-made assets for you to use from your favorite game and that's not all they are including quite a few exciting pieces of tech mainly powered by the really awesome tensor cores which are made for AI in the RTX cards and these tools are absolutely fascinating and it's amazing that they're giving that kind of power to people just in normal homes without requiring some insane workstation and these tools are mainly there to help ease the process of animating everything so if you're someone like me who has no idea how to animate someone to look natural then this would be amazing you can do things like hook up a camera it could even be some old webcam and move around and the software will track your movements and animate a character accordingly you could record an audio line for a character and then the software will match the mouth movement of that character to that audio lines so you don't have to animate the mouth or the general facial expression at all you just need to record some audio and probably also as a hint to how powerful Ampere is going to be, they've shown in the demo this huge shot of a lot of soldiers all animated with also a lot of particle effects on screen, which hopefully is a sign that you'll be able to create a kind of scene with little hassle as long as you have an Ampere card, because everything points towards these cards having enough horsepower behind them to drive such scenes with ease and so hopefully rendering won't be a nightmare. And the software pretty much can do everything for you. You can seamlessly animate and move tons of soldiers around like in a demo, it takes care of lighting, and you can bet your backside and we're going to be getting some support for ray tracing in these scenes, seeing how, you know, it's kind of one of the main gimmicks of the RTX cards. And overall it looks like an amazing package if you want to do some animations and some custom scenes in the favorite games. But that's not all people have already suggested other uses for it that look like quite a match made in heaven like for example like modding capabilities and say for example making maps for games inside Omniverse Machinima. But who knows, maybe Omniverse Machinima is just the thing to get the whole Machinima scene up and going again. But let's be honest, the Machinima scene isn't the only thing that's going to see an increase in content when Omniverse Machinima drops. You can expect the Rule 34 crowd to be very, very excited about this as well. Hopefully over here on the Avon channel, we will be doing some stuff with Omniverse Machinima in the future. I would love to do like a video showing exactly what it can do. I can mainly just depends if it's going to be an Ampere exclusive or not. If it is an Ampere exclusive, then one way I can still make a video on it is if you guys help my channel out via Patreon. Because your one dollar month is a long way. Or alternatively, if you're planning on buying anything, which anything, say maybe a PSU for your upcoming RTX 3000 cards, so your current one isn't completely destroyed by the might of Ampere, then use our Amazon links down in the description below. Because no matter what you buy on there, literally you can buy anything on there and we get some of the money and you don't pay anything extra so yeah definitely check out this link stand there you should find a link to my discord if you want to talk to me else about this or whatever else really and i guess that's really it so i hope you enjoyed this particular video if you did not subscribe like whatever and i'll see you all in what i like next goodbye everyone good bye why are we still here just to suffer